I uh, got these out of the bin, or uh, out of my ESL bin. They look kind of shitty, but it's mostly because uh, I used some heat, so the <coughs> coating is kind of gone, or not as great as it should be. But it doesn't really matter. These are the solo sound slash audio static panels, and uh, yeah, boys, I've looked for um, what it costs this material. Not m m not much actually, but the thing is, in their speakers, they have it on an angle like this, something like this, vertically. So it uh, has a little bit better vertical dispersion, but really. The horizontal dispersion is quite shitty. I mean, if you reckon a normal tweeter is like uh, at most one inch, then you got a big dome tweeter. This is like uh, 70, slightly more even. So that would be uh, like more than twice as bad as the biggest dome tweeter you can imagine. What's what's going on, Puss? Let me take care of her. She's she's pissed. So the well, the angle, as in the omnidirectional version, the angle uh, make, makes it possible to have a slightly better vertical dispersion, which is usually a problem. But since I'm gonna use it inverted. I don't need to segment the stator, so I could use these old panels that I've had laying around and just segment the foil and see what happens and use it as an inverted one, which uh, might result in using a slightly lower, crappier transformer or a slightly lower bias. But we'll see. Not sure if it works. These look <laughs> incredibly bad, but you can uh, fix them up. I mean, it's just send them down and give them a new coat, and they're good to go. Quite good. This is the first time I'm gonna use hot glue. Hot glue, why? Well, it's fast and it has a pretty decent holding strength, so I'm not sure. It might fail completely. But I know um, at this kind of small space, there's the 30 and F doesn't do a good job either. It's just not strong enough. Yes, you could use epoxy or whatever, but then you would never get it uh, apart again. Although the hot glue might as well be a problem to get it apart again without making a huge mess, but we'll see for now. Just gonna test it. I mean, these panels are fucked already, so. I'm just going to add a bead. Use a heat gun. Attach on PPC. Gonna be messy, I guess. Ah, yeah. So I used a little bit too much already there must be a better way to do that but might be okay maybe don't even have to heat it stays warm enough, long enough.
not so sure. I think normally they had like a complete frame, which uh, you can just dump in, which is nicer of course, but I'm not gonna use the CNC right now and waste a lot of material. There's supposed to be a good way to remove hot glue. I think it was something with alcohol, but I'm not sure which one it was. <clears throat> I don't want any glue on this side, so... That will be one um, thing. <clears throat> Normally uh, high voltage is connected here <clears throat> uh, and audio here. In this case high voltage is going to be connected here and audio here and the other audio here because I'm going to split the membrane in two. Although I don't have the resistors at this moment, I will then filter it. Hopefully. I could hit this with a sand pad real quick and it should be even. Because here's a little standing ridge from cutting. Yeah. Hot glue is kind of messy. It is fast and quite strong. And I hate this threading stuff, it makes a mess. So hot glue is not a way to go, but... Gets dirty. <laughs> so either you have to work really clean and not make like a mess like I did. It might work. And it feels, well, solid I cannot say, but it's only one panel. I mean, if you got two... I think it's rather solid. Just gonna do the other one as well. So we got two panels. Well, <laughs> tiny panels. And I'm uh, really not sure if this is gonna hold, but uh, since I got some mylar still stretched on the, on the glass plate uh, because of the last thing I uh, stretched, and uh, this panel was smaller than the width of the foil, it's still there, so might as well use it. That's actually the reason why I'm doing this, because I don't want to waste that material, I don't have incredibly uh, amounts of it as usual, normally uh, it's rolls of 50 meters and such, but in this case it goes by the 7.5 meters or something. So I want to make as best use of it as I can. Uh, now well this thing is not actually designed to have multiple uh, connection points, so I have to kind of figure something out. Probably gonna use some copper tape around here and some copper tape around here and attach it to the foil. So one of these I'm gonna glue to the miler right now. So I'm gonna coat it with the 30 and F because it usually works out pretty well. So miler is attached. Only thing I forgot is in the middle I wanted to have a, like a foam spacer. So it doesn't get sucked into one of the front or back panel. I forgot. I might put it on the other side, although it's not the same. So I might be limited in how much uh, bias I can apply. But anyhow, I made a new mixture. Mixture. Really nice and green. So I'm gonna tape off some stuff. I'm gonna stick it on here a few times. 
hope my uh, kitchen is uh, dirty enough to make it less sticky. It sounds really disgusting, but yeah, actually it is. Let me see, is there... yeah, okay, so... I like this. The hair here. Let's see what we can do. I think it's really strong, so... Uh, yes, it is. You just wipe it away. That's cool. Is this visible? I know it reflects really hard, so it's quite hard. And it's gone. Now I'm gonna take this off. It's not so much the rubbing, it's really the acid that does the work. This one might be a little bit too short, but... So now I'm gonna find the middle, some... sort of. I'm just gonna tape it from the front to the back. That's what I'm gonna do. So this is the middle. Actually, need to clean it straight away because it might under edge. Yeah, you got it. So, uh, my uh, middle uh, thing was not, it's not completely on spot. So this, the small part, is gonna be the high frequency. And it's not perfect, but I, I mean, it's still like bigger than the biggest dome. But it's far better than the whole panel. So, not sure, hope this works. You never know. So now the question is, am I going to glue the other panel straight to it or am I going to lose it, uh, use it as a sort of with the typical market clamps? I'll probably do the market clamp thing. So I can maybe remove, remove them and see what's going on if something fails or something, I don't know. Anyhow, that's the etching. It's rather fast. Uh, I think. I'm gonna attach some leads, uh, attach some copper to the other one to connect to this and this. Oh, so I'm just gonna use some bigger foil. I'm gonna cut this away because uh, it's asking for a short. Hope 
nice to have a normal stemmy instead of this really nice. But anyhow, this one. Using copper is still uh, the question if that's nice because of the high voltage it provokes earlier. But in this case, because it is mediocre high voltage, it might work. Yeah. Ah, here I wanted to have a little bit longer thread to be honest. Or copper. Fuck. Hmm. I'm gonna redo that because it's. Well, although I didn't have to when I think of it. It's used to uh, get up to the next panel, but I don't have a next panel, so fuck it. I am gonna use it like this. Doesn't really matter in this case. I forgot. Fire up the soldering iron and hopefully find some wires. Although I might have some laying around. Maybe some long wires will be nice for a change. Um, well, not too long, but let's say. 30, 40, this is around 40. And I need one, two, three, four. One with long leads. Okay. Probably a really dirty solar mine, but that's okay. Okay, for now at least. One goes here. One goes there, but there's not enough. So, we got our uh, stuff. And this should connect to these strips, hopefully. There you have it. Shall I use clamps? Yeah, I'm gonna use clamps. I will use uh, glue eventually, once... Uh, I'm not even sure if this works. As for now, I don't have the resistors to actually segment those, I think. I should buy some sort of a bag with all kinds of values, because every time I need a few weird values and I have to buy them, three pieces and such and then I lose them etc etc so yeah I need bags of resistors uh, like half a watt or quarter watt I don't know hmm actually that makes me think of something I'm gonna ask someone if he might be able to sponsor me that because he uh, he wanted to sponsor me some stuff and I could actually use that this kind of stuff because uh, it's quite annoying to go to a store for every single fucking resistor that's only five cents or something so uh, well see you uh, in a bit I think when I connected it and used some marketing clamps <laughs>